Hi, I'm Leanne. I'm a light worker and a mother to three special girls. I strive to continue learning, growing, and to collect new skills. I'm a psychic medium, Reiki master teacher, and a Kashuk record reader and energy healer. I am so excited to share what I've learned and what I'm going to learn and the ups and downs of life. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Welcome to Life of a Lightworker podcast. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to start with a tarot card poll. I was drawn to the Light Sierra's Tarot by Chris Ann. And my intention is for is to pull a card that you, person listening, needs to hear right now. And the card I pulled was Three of Wands. And I pulled it in the Light Seer position. And from the book, it says, Energy manifested, waiting for the results of your effort, the arrival of opportunities, finally understanding your ambitions, continuous improvement and moving in the right direction, progress. You've been doing the work, Lightseer, planning, seeing, learning. Watch for the signs that your dream is on the way because they are everywhere. Take pride in the progress you've made for your past efforts that created the momentum that you needed to get the ball rolling. Today you are moving through energy you created in the past and being here, ready and waiting, is a milestone that you should recognize as a success. While there is still work to be done, know that you are heading in the right direction and that you will see your big waves coming in soon. When they arrive, you may not know exactly how to ride them, but you will be ready to learn. Look for that new relationship, the new client, or the lucky break on the horizon, for the arrival is imminent. Oh, I love this card. There's an image of a woman holding a surfboard waiting at the beach, waiting for the waves, knowing that the wave is coming, and when the wave comes, she's going to ride it. Maybe not ex- not knowing exactly how it's going to turn or how it's going to move, but she knows that she can learn, she can figure out how to ride it. And it's beautiful. That's It's very comforting. It's knowing that even though things are coming at you that you didn't expect, you can't see exactly how they're going to turn out, knowing that you have the tools within you to ride that wave. And I think a lot of us who gain insight onto the future or have glimpses of the future either internal knowings or maybe they see something they've had a reading or whatever you have an idea of what's coming but you don't know exactly how it's going to show up or what's going to happen when it comes you have it's like a shadow you have a glimmer it's a feeling of what's going to come you don't exactly know and that's the way it's supposed to be We're not supposed to know exactly because it's trusting, it's getting onto that wave and the act of riding it without fully knowing is one of the major lessons. That's how we can get the most out of it. How can our soul expand and grow the most? So that's by design. And I feel like most of us, a lot of us, need to lean back and trust our intuition, our internal guidance more because we get so lost in our head and we forget about our heart, our soul, and allowing that part of us to lead. And that's what being in flow is, is allowing it to lead and not controlling it with our mind because our mind is been trained to work with 
the logic of this world and how this world has been working in the past. So moving the part of ourself that is in charge. Because it typically, traditionally, for a lot of people, has been in charge in your heads. And your heads have been controlled by the outside a lot of the time. So learning to switch to internal guidance and not knowing how it's going to turn out, which is what your head likes to do. So we're following that internal guidance to help ride the wave, knowing that you will get your sign left or right, duck turn when the time is right. It's like if it gives it to you too early, it's not going to benefit you. You might move too quick and it's not the right time. If you get too much, you might try to do it all now and it won't work out in the most favorable way or it might even be a detriment. So the information is given to you at the right moment. And by the information, I mean the inner nudges, the little twinges, that feeling of, oh, I feel like I want to do this. I should do this. I feel excitement about this or those inner knowings, trusting your gut. That is what I'm talking about. And you don't need, it doesn't need to be big. It just, it's a subtle checking in with yourself and recognizing when those little nudges come up and try to tell your head to take a seat, take a step back and take a break. It's been working so hard. Let it take a break so that you, your soul, your intuition can take the lead for a little while. Because your head's not going anywhere. We're not getting rid of that part. We are asking it to take a break because it's been working in overdrive. It's unbalanced. Because there is a time and a place for your head. But right now isn't the time. Because it has been unbalanced. It's been working so hard. It needs to take a break. It needs to have more of the intuition take charge so that you can find balance because what's balanced doesn't feel balanced necessarily because you're so used to your head being high. That's the norm. So we have to do something unnormal, something a little weird, something unusual that doesn't, it doesn't, might not feel right because we're not used to it. But once you start listening to your guidance, it does feel right. It feels right so fast. Um, And I feel that a lot of people are in this shift, in this transition, and leaning into it more and more is going to help shift the balance and allow yourself to recalibrate. Because everyone's calibration is going to be a little different, and this is the step to take it for yourself. Thank you so much for listening. And if you'd like to contact me, my website is spruceenergyhealing.com on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. It's Spruce Energy Healing. I would love to talk to you. And if you have any questions or anything, please message me. And I offer intuitive sessions. So what I do is I utilize the Akashic Records and I contact your higher self and we explore your past lives and your this current life feeling the energy of your body and ask the questions that you want the answers to i can go in and ask what your soul what your higher self wants to tell you wants to show wants to heal right now or we can go in with specific questions that you are wanting to know and that lights me up and gives me so much joy to help people that way. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you next time.